So once we have high density robots configured and installed, the first thing you probably run into is something is not working. And as you can see, I, I have two users signed in. And if I try to log on as one of those, I get in. And I get disconnected. And the reason is that the service, the, the high density service, is of course trying to keep a session alive for that user. And no matter the reason it gets disconnected, it will then try again because well that's what it's here for. So Right now, it will only disconnect and not lock off. But usually, when you go to HD Robot and you remove one of these, it will then lock off that user. And that means that whatever condition was giving you an error would then be lost. Maybe you can reproduce it by locking on again and seeing what is going on, but usually not. And another way would be to do what I just did. You can tell the service to not lock on, uh, lock off the user. And hopefully, whatever condition was giving the robot issues is now present on the screen, and you can troubleshoot it and figure out what is going on. But it's been my experience that sometimes you really do want to see what is going on when it is completely unattended and. That's not easy. Um, but I came across a super awesome uh, open source project called Remotely. And you can think of this as, yeah, it's been, it's been busy. Um, anyway, the, the guy behind this is super, super, super talented guy. Um, created this product that you can think of it as an open source version of Team Viewer, but it, it is actually quite a lot of other things as well. It's, it's super awesome. Um, so I do recommend that, that at least unless, unless this becomes very unstable, which I don't think it will, we can use this as a way of, um, of checking out what's going on. So I have an instance of remotely running. And so if I sign in here, I can, so um, once this is up and running, however you get it up and running, you can go to downloads. And here we can download a, uh, an agent that is supposed to be installed on a PC or a server somewhere. And that will now give us remote access to that server. So, so I'm not sure if I can do that from Internet Explorer. Oh, come on. Uh, it seems to be working. So we will download the installer. And here is a way for us to install this. Let's type it in manually then. Apparently I didn't get this correctly. So we need an organization ID and a server ID and we install. Now it's installed. And let's check if it...
there's the service I'm blind apparently and if we go back here you can see that now we have access to the server so if I then go to remote control usually takes a few seconds and then we get a new tab and inside this tab we get access to the console of that server but if there is a user signed on and it's an active session meaning that either the high density robot service or someone using remote desktop is connected we can actually get access to those sessions so if we go to part one As you can see, I now am controlling um, that remote desktop session because I logged on as part one. Um, if I go to part two, I can now control that. And this one is running as uh, the, the high density robot uh, service. So if I close this and disconnect, so now bot one is disconnected and that means I can no longer remote it because there's no active session. But if I go and enable it, now the high density session as a high density service has taken over and I can now again connect to both robot users and I can now actually see what is going on and or I can control them. Um, which is what we wanted um, and this is a very 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 good troubleshooting tools so I highly recommend um, using this as a way of controlling the robots they are of course third party commercial software that can do this and you are of course free to use that as well well not free but you can um, this is my preferred way of doing it for now Goodbye.